doing my own laundry, it can be difficult to keep everything sorted and washed and folded and put away. Do you do your own laundry? I swear to God, I do. You do? Yep. I'm proud of you. Yep. All right. My mother did it till I was 26. Oh, okay. Well, you had a long time to learn how to do it right. <laughs> and as moms know, adding in a kid or two, hey, George, makes it nearly impossible. The Queen of Clean is here, though, with some ideas to keep sorting to a minimum and maybe even get some extra help getting it all done. Take a look. You know, if you've got more than one child, you know it can get complicated when you're doing laundry. You sort and you sort and you sort to figure out whose clothes are whose, unless you're doing one child's all together. So I want to show you a couple quick ideas that have worked, and they've worked well for my daughter-in-law and other people too. The first thing you want to do is assign a color to each child. So if you've got the boys, you're going to assign each child a color. Maybe it's black for one, gray for another, and blue for the other one, you know, when they're little. Then when you're doing the laundry, when you see that color, you know who those things belong to. The other thing you can do is you can take a mesh laundry bag, label it with a Sharpie, with the kid's name on it, and put their underwear and socks in that bag. Throw it in the dryer exactly this way, and when it comes out, you know who belongs to it. Now, another thing I like to suggest is that you use a different color laundry basket for each person in the house. The kids are never too young to learn how to help with the laundry. So what you're going to do is when you take the laundry out, if it belongs to Bobby and he's wearing blue, and his other clothes, you're going to throw them in his basket. You're going to throw the next kids in his basket, and so forth then the kids are going to take their own basket. They're going to take it in their room and they're going to fold the clothes and put them away. Now, when they're young, in order to make it kind of a game and, and make them enjoy doing it, maybe you say to the three-year-old, okay, now you've got your laundry basket, you take three things out of the laundry basket and fold them and show them how to do it. And you know what, if they don't do a good job the first time, don't complain, because when you complain, they never want to help again. Just say, you know what, you did a great job. Now, the next time we do it, let's try actually tucking the socks together, or whatever you want to say. But you're teaching the kids a great lesson, and you're making it easy for yourself. And even if you don't want them to help with folding the laundry, when you take it out of the washer and dryer, you know what basket goes in what room and for what child. So if you want to make it easy on yourself, Try some of these little organizational hits that will really, really make it good. For more information, go to queenofclean.com. Thanks for talking dirty with the Queen of Clean.